right, so it's Pat from EAS Landscaping and we are starting another job. Might be the last one for this season for me because it's so hot. So we're on July 3, 2020. Um, trimming back this red bud a little bit, fairly easy. I'm gonna shape it up a little bit, gotta get on that side. We're gonna weed through here. We take away this ivy, just weed generally through here. Take away this flea vein, uh, the peonies, hydrangea, roses um these are privets i think these are all gonna stay obviously um i'm gonna put sod back there with a border around the edge so it's looked really nice and potentially the homeowners want to maybe move the peony out of there and put a little dining area with some pavers in there so stay tuned it's gonna be hot today okay so that's what we did with the red bud uh, homeowner came out, so we pulled it up. And a couple of low-lying branches. We're gonna leave um, so that they sprout back. But uh, I think it's a good shape to continue to go up is what we wanted to do, so. kind of ready for a little more grading here but we're gonna leave because it's like 95 degrees and um so we've done that side over there so far and then this side i have to do tomorrow okay we are back so it's fourth of july hoping to put in four hours or so uh I'll weed this whole side continuing to level out the area for the sod and then we need to make this uh, you know six inches here six inches all the way around and uh, just kind of mark that off and make that a place where we're going to put our um, crushed rock and it's confusing because there's a cement piece there so we kind of have to work around that and use our wits to make this work so sod and we're done for today so we'll probably get out of here soon so anyway all right we're back in the rain fix a couple couple of things we gotta cut the stone in the corner and we gotta kind of lower this these two up here and then we're gonna put down that metal siding all the way around day three Gonna get these guys in today and get this all leveled out for the sod and get the rocks in too. Those rocks over there. Alright, so that's how you cut these things. Use a um, bull cutter. I'm gonna score it. You score it on this side and that side, and then you can easily bend it. A baby can bend it after you do that. So that's how you cut the Colmet metal edging. Side. Got all the pieces all set. Kentucky bluegrass. So we're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, so start laying here. It's hot, hot, hot. from EAS Landscaping and beautiful Kentucky bluegrass installed in this backyard with our um, embroidered pattern of uh, river stones. Looks really nice. So as long as the weeds stay out of there and you can maybe even put up kind of a small rock oriented plant in there. It can kind of be a nice 
Saxon. And this bluegrass will grow pretty well. So we'll be back to do a little bit more. We're looking nice in South Philadelphia. Okay, we're back here at our um, garden that we planted. The sod's growing great. So the homeowners have a couple more plants to put in. So since we already put down the weed guard, I'm just using basically some scissors. Um, I have a drywall knife that I use for everything, but scissors seem to be better and I have a small trowel. And I'm gonna try to get these um, dead nettles in. They have uh, the uh, White Nancy dead, dead nettles. I'm gonna put one there and one right there. So um, just kinda kinda cut the hole out and hope the weeds don't grow up around it, but they probably will. So um, I'm gonna keep cutting. All finished. Looking good. Still be over there. Dead nettle. Beautiful Kentucky bluegrass, another satisfied job.